name is Adam Skloot, and I'm the Artistic Director and CEO of Ballet West, and we are thrilled and honored to have the great American ballerina, Meryl Ashley, with us here. Meryl Ashley was a muse of um, America's uh, most brilliant choreographer, George Balanchine, and um, she is here to work with us on uh, our upcoming performance of Balanchine Chacon. Welcome to Salt Lake City. Thank Mayo. you so much. It's a pleasure being here. Well, we're just you are known for the strength of your technique and its clarity and purity and strength and, and well, everything. And, and obviously that came from It came from, from Balanchine. It came from Balanchine. Yeah. And I mean, his, as kind and as patient as he was, he was very definite about what he wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, he wasn't satisfied. You know, fifth wasn't a quarter of an inch off. It was fifth, right. the perf you know, exact. And the, you know, I, didn't I thought a lot of his requests were more aesthetic than practical sometimes mm -hmm. but the more I did it the more I realized this just makes dancing easier mm -hmm. it looks better it feels better and I'm stronger and well just whatever he says just do it mm -hmm. <laughs> just try and do it because it'll benefit you in the end so you moved up pretty quickly then when you were in the company you think? Mm -hmm. I got my first solo at 18, but uh, I was in the core seven years. It was 10 years from joining to becoming a principal. So, uh, you know, I paid my dues in that, in that regard. <laughs> well, another ballet that's fiercely difficult in a very different way, and um, that um, I actually saw you perform also, is the one that you're here actually to coach our dancers in, and that's um, his Chacon. Yes. Um, and so from what I know about it, um, you know, it was um, created as a ballet first for, is it Frankfurt? I, somewhere in Germany. In I'm Germany. actually not sure which company. Yeah, yeah it's, and, and I mean, the musical comes from uh, the opera uh, Orfeo and Eurydice, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and then he redid it again for uh, the New York City Ballet in 1976. Right. And, um, and added the early section. There's the whole early section, which I find so beautiful, the Dance of the Blessed Spirit yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, and such. But um, you danced in this a number of times. And can you talk to us about your experience and your understanding of the ballet at all? Well, um, I think the first pas de deux, which is, as you said, in the Dance of the Blessed Spirits, is um, a very lyrical kind of, um, I, I think of it as being in the clouds, you're up in the clouds. Yeah. But a lot of it is off balance. Yeah. Um, it, the body is at, a, at an angle all the time instead of being vertical. And the, the rest of the ballet has that aspect too. Yeah. Um, for me, the opening pas de deux was a real challenge to, to find that lyricism and, and simplicity. It's so simple, uh, but it's uh, you have to bring a spirit to it, yeah. a blessed spirit. <laughs> yes, a blessed spirit. Absolutely. Um, and then the second section is is more classically oriented, but again, it, it's always with these little twists, angles, yeah. uh, kind of baroque. Curly, curly cues. cues. That's a very Somehow, wonderful way of putting it. Um, I always think of it as sort um, of mimicking the Baroque. Yeah, thing. and um, I loved it. I just loved it. It was um, not technically as challenging as many of my roles were, but to find find the right the angles and the and the rhythm of it was was kind of right. tricky. Yeah. Yeah, that music is also so sublime. Oh, I mean, sublime. this Gluck music is yes, just great. Yeah. What I also love about it is that there are just also so many roles for so many people it's in the great company. Too. I mean, you don't think that the ballet is as big as it is, but it's massive. It's, it's a huge cast. It's a huge cast. It is. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's what's really nice for the Ballet West dancers. We're able to use everybody. I mean, our, our trainee girls do the opening uh -huh, dance. Uh -huh, the, um, uh -huh. um, we have uh, roles for our principals, uh, for our soloists, so our core. Ev everybody. everybody. And Boys and and girls, boys not and girls, exactly, because a lot of ballets you know, yeah, have just roles for girls and then just a just, couple for boys. But no, yeah, this is yeah, lots of no, everybody, everybody, a good company which piece. Is really, really great. Yeah, um, yeah. Well, we're just so grateful that you're here to coach uh, Chacon, um, to bring your insights to our dancers. Um, the works of George Balanchine have always been such an important aspect of Ballet West's repertoire, and we always want to do right by them. What is um, of paramount importance to me with our dancers is that we do them with stylistic accuracy.
Well, that's it's. I'm glad you feel that way, <laughs> because there is clearly a style that's that belongs in Balanchine ballets, and yeah. and this one has, because of some of the funny angles, it, it's very, uh, you know, you really you can't just do it like a normal ballet. You really have to to emphasize some of those things. Absolutely, and that's why we're so grateful that. You're well, I do my best. <laughs> well, thank you, Meryl. Thank, thank you, you so much. Here, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you. Me too. Thank you.